What up, everyone? Last box of the month of September. I made it through, and I'm officially going to be sort of caught up. So hopefully I can edit all these videos in time before the October boxes come. But in the meantime, Arcade Block is here. Let's take a look at what we've got this month. So we got a t-shirt. And, um, you know, obviously it's always from Shirt Punch. But the good thing about Shirt Punch is that it's actually not always going to be a crossover. So this is just, it says Wind Waker, and this is from The Legend of Zelda. As far as I can tell, there's nothing being crossed over here. It just says Wind Waker from The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, like the, from that game. So that's the good thing about Shirt Punch is that they, they often do crossovers because they don't have licensing for everything, but they do often actually pay for licenses of certain games to make products and t-shirts and stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, not always, but it does happen. So that's cool that every once in a while you don't have to get a crossover. You actually just get a branded shirt. And I actually like the color. I like that blue. I think it's kind of nice. So um, this being Arcade Block, the, it being a video game shirt is very fitting. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's the soft style shirt, but uh, shirt punch shirts don't always fit super great. They always fit pretty poorly, actually. But I think most people like it or at the very least recognize it. It's a cool design, so I think they did a good job. So I think 7 out of 10 is good. I, I like that shirt. I think they did a very good job. Next, we got a plush boo. So you got one of two options here. You either got boo or you got a Goomba. So yeah, this is actually licensed too. It's from Super Mario Bros. from Nintendo. You get it out of the damn bag. Yeah, it's actually very soft and nice quality. So, not much more to say about it, but yeah. So, the nice branded little plush figure. Very nice. Next, we got a chicken. <laughs> we got a chicken here. So, we saw this in um, the Nerd Block Classic as well. Obviously, NerdBlock has a new partnership, I think it's very obvious here, because we got one, the Starship Enterprise in Classic NerdBlock, and now we got the chicken from, I'm assuming Legend of Zelda, I don't know what else it would be from that has famous chickens, and I'm assuming that's what it is, but I could be wrong. So it's this company, Springs, and obviously their thing is putting shit on Springs, and that's it. So, so obviously they have a partnership with them because they were both exclusive. And I think they're trying to help this company get started. They, um, I'm not sure what the deal is, the partnership between the two, but you know, I gotta say, I just can't see it popping up. I can't see them going big or going anywhere because, much like bobbleheads, like I don't think people want things on a spring. I don't think people need their collectibles to move. Same as bobbleheads, like it, it looks cool with a big head, but you don't need it to actually wobble. Like it's just, I don't think it's something appealing to most people. And it's also, you know, it's just a chicken. It's not, it's not a famous character from Le Le Legend of Zelda. It's literally a fucking chicken, like, you know. So, um, I don't know how well this partnership's going to go. I, I, I don't see this being very popular. I don't see this style being very popular. I don't, I don't see this company taking off pretty much anywhere. That's just my personal opinion. I could be totally wrong. but So, I, I'm still glad they're making new partnerships and, and branching out, but I don't think this is their best choice of, of companies to partner with. But, either way... You got a chicken on a spring. Do what you want with it. Spring chicken. Now, next, we actually got a vinyl album. This is from a band called Galaxy. So, I, I love vinyl. I like the concept of vinyl. I know vinyl is very collectible. But the only unfortunate thing about this is that most people don't have record players. I don't even think I have one. I'm going to try and find one so I can at least listen to it, so I can give an opinion by uh, by time I do the monthly review, hopefully. But I don't know if I can even find one to like try it out. They're just not that common. So many people don't have them. I know a lot of people do have them, but I don't think the, the average person has one. So um, I still like vinyl. It's cool. but And it looks cool to display. If you ever want to put it up, it always looks nice on a wall. But as far as like playing the music, it's a little bit more difficult. But, you know, it's still a cool item. Then we got a keychain. And this is actually exclusive. So it's like the... Legend of Zelda Shield. It's like a nice little metal keychain. It comes in a very nice little package too. I thought that was cool. A lot of times keychains are just kind of tossed in there with like a little piece of paper attached to it. But it actually has a nice packaging. So I appreciate that. And it's exclusive. Um, I don't think it's going to be like super valuable or anything like that, even though it's exclusive. But it is very nice. It's actually made of metal and it's a very nice keychain. I actually really like that. So I think they did a good job on that. Then the last item, which I was actually very pleased about. We got an art print 
which you know we see in it from the Nerdblock company, but it's actually on canvas. So this is really cool. And they actually put it in plastic wrap, which means they're like taking care of it. The only bad news is they put it on the bottom with everything stacked on top so the canvas got stretched out. I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually like a ripple effect going on there. That's when you put pressure on the canvas, it stretches out much like a t-shirt does, and then it never snaps back. So you have that ripple effect. So I, I'm bummed that they put it on the bottom, but I don't know if they had much choice in the matter. So I think they need to put something over it so that doesn't happen again. But at least they put it in shrink wrap, and they actually put cardboard on the corners to keep it protected, which is very nice. It's what you should do with the canvas. So mine arrived with a pretty pretty fair scratch on it because of things jumbling around but no big deal but this is actually very nice I'm very happy that they did this because this is really cool now the boxes started out with putting like shitty posters in there the like crappy like printer paper posters that got damaged and then they kind of evolved into what NerdBlock's been doing recently to like putting cardstock paper in there where it's the size of the block where it's like a, a card and now they've actually uh, I've seen HorrorBlock do this and I'm glad they're doing it in the other ones putting it on canvas. Now, is, uh, this isn't by any like specific like famous artist or anything like that, and there's um, it's not signed or numbered or anything, but that doesn't matter because it's so this this really ups the value and ups the quality. Having anything printed on canvas just gives it a totally different look and feel. It just makes it look very professional. And then actually mounting it onto like wood canvas like an actual frame makes it just very professional. Now you have like a real piece of artwork here that you can hang on the wall and display. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to frame it. You don't have to do anything to it. You just put a nail on the wall and hang it up. Like there it is. So that makes this a very nice piece. Um, obviously it would be much nicer if there was like an artist's name or signed or numbered or something like that. But, but it doesn't matter. Even if it's not, it's still very nice. It's, this is very cool and I'm glad they're starting to do things like this. I think other boxes should too because this is just a nice display piece now. I think anyone can hang this on the wall, even in like a nice home. Like even though it's Legend of Zelda, it just looks looks professional. It looks modern. It looks mature. It looks all these nice things, and I really like that about that. So uh, as I mentioned before, I hope that the Nerd Block Company ventures out like Comic Con uh, Box has been doing, where they put like a, a few lucky people get like a signed one or something like that. I've never gotten one, but it's just cool to have that incentive that someone out there is getting one. So I hope they do something like that. And that they should talk about the artist more and throw in a few signed ones. I think that'd be really cool and a really great incentive. I think a lot of people would appreciate that. But either way, I was so happy to see this because it's just, I'm, I'm as an artist, I'm very picky about these things. So I'm happy that the game is evolving and they're really starting to put like high quality stuff in there. So that I think everyone could really like this. I think this is a very good choice and I was pleasantly surprised. So, that was the last item in the box. Let's run back through the box and talk about some value. Hmm. All right, the shirt. Like I said, seven out of 10, good stuff. And that will get the standard 12 to $15 value. No big deal. Then, the boo. Um, this is actually pretty common and pretty cheap. You can find this at like like I think Target sells this in Walmart and stuff. So this is actually only goes like six to eight bucks. Um, plus figures of this size will go usually around ten, but this one's a little bit cheaper. It's just pretty common. So six to eight bucks on that. The chicken. So I did a whole spiel and speech about this on the Nerd Block Classic. I won't do it again, but if you want, if you're interested, you can go back and watch that video. But I was basically saying that it is exclusive, but exclusive only matters if it's something rare or sought after. If it's a good franchise or it's a good character or a cool item or something like that. This company Springs is not well enough known to increase the value. This fucking chicken is not a good enough character well enough known to increase the value. And the style of a chicken on a spring is not gonna increase the value. So it is exclusive but this is one of the rare and unfortunate cases where it, it doesn't give a lot of value to it. This is pretty much valued as just a random plastic figure because for the reasons I said it's not well known there's nothing attached to it and it just doesn't look I don't think people really like the whole spring thing I don't think that adds any value to it so the value on this is only going to be like eight bucks and like I said with the last one if it was literally like anything else that was exclusive like it would increase the value or more collectible they could have picked a better character they could have done a better sculpt it's just very basic nothing against this company springs I'm sure they're trying hard to get their name out there but 
I just, I just don't see it happening. I don't see this being a thing. I don't see this being a popular thing. Sorry to say that. I, I hope I don't disappoint anyone from that company watching, but I, I just don't see it happening. So I'm um, glad NerdBlock has made some new partnerships, but I, I, I'm not super excited to see like the future of this in NerdBlock. But so this is only gonna get about eight bucks. There we go. Then the keychain. This is exclusive as well, but this is actually pretty nice quality. A uh, keychain similar to this would go about six bucks. This is exclusive, but uh, similar to the other item, it, it's not going to go up a lot in value. There's this is exclusive, but there's so many um, replicas out there. There's so many keychains that look almost exactly like this. They, this may be exclusive, but it's such a common shape and a common keychain that the the word exclusive doesn't really add much to it. Uh, it's good that they went through the trouble to make it specifically for this box. But it's such a common thing, it really doesn't increase in value pretty much at all. So this is going to get a range of about 6 to $8. Uh, if they pick something less common, I think they should always do. If you're making something exclusive, you don't want to pick something common because who cares if it's exclusive? You can get something identical to it for a cheaper price. That doesn't really make it exclusive. The exclusivity is supposed to be individual. It's supposed to be on its own, like something unique. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if it's exclusive. So that's the case with this. I've seen a million keychains very similar to this sell for about $6. So six to eight, I think, is fair on that. Then, the vinyl. Um, for a smaller vinyl like this, these run around $10, like $10 or $12. So value's gonna be 10 or 12 for a smaller vinyl of this size. And also, it's obviously, I don't think it's from a popular artist. I've never heard of them. I'm sure they're good. I hope I can listen to it, but 10 or 12, I think, is just pretty standard. Then, this little canvas right here. So, normally, like I said, since it's not tied to a specific famous artist, it's not signed and it's not numbered, um, it's usually only costs what, what it is for, for it to be printed on, which is usually just paper. So it's usually like 3 or $4 at best. But this would actually cost a decent amount. In a store, pretty much anything on a canvas is probably going to run you like $10, if not $12, $15, so on and so forth. Even at like Target, which is the cheapest of cheap, that's pretty much how much it would be. So it's cool that this is Legend of Zelda, but it actually does cost a decent amount to get something printed on canvas and then get it mounted to a frame. So that costs a pretty penny. So I'm gonna put a value of this of 10 to $12. Like this is what I'd see it going for in stores. It might actually cost a little more than that to do it yourself because of the materials and time involved. But in a store, I'd see it going for right around that. But again, I'm very happy with this. I'm really happy that they've, they've done something like this. I hope they do more like this. But like I said, I hope they put something over just a piece of cardboard or something to, to keep any pressure from stretching out the canvas because it just looks bad when it's all wavy and wrinkly on there. So hopefully no one's arrived too damaged. My plastic was torn to shit, but no biggie there. But, but yeah, I, I can't tell you how, how pleased I am to see something different and a, a different way of putting just the classic poster in there. So I say very good choice on that. I'm very happy about that. So, that being said, uh, that brings the value on the low end, 52, on the high end, 63. So, pretty common. Like, it's almost always expected that you're going to get around $50. Classic Nerd Black had a little bit lower. This one has a little bit higher, but generally in that $50 range, which is great. Almost double on a $30 box. It's very well done. You had a lot of variety. You had some exclusives. They were great exclusives, but you know, it, sometimes it's a thought that counts. They did go through the trouble to make something for this box, so that's still cool. So I'm going to give this box a 7 out of 10. Um, or sorry, a 7.5 out of 10. I was looking at the wrong square. 7.5 out of 10, which is really great. I think it's a good box. I think pretty much everyone would enjoy it. You'd obviously have to be interested in video games to get this box, but great value, good variety, nice t-shirt, got some exclusives. Why not? Like, nothing in here completely blew my mind. I was really happy about the canvas, but everything in here was, was good, not amazing, though. So 7.5 is right at that score where it's definitely great, definitely worth it, but not spectacular. But I don't think anyone would have been disappointed with this box, as they usually aren't with this company. Um, and good news, like I said, uh, with uh, the classic nerd blog, I'm going to be trying out different boxes from this company. They didn't specifically interest me before, but they just do such a good job. I figure out why not try out some of the other boxes just to see. I think it's just, and I think it's time for some variety. I've been doing the same ones for so many months because I haven't had time to research anything, but I've actually taken some time and I'm going to try out some new stuff. So I hope that pleases some people that have been asking for those boxes for like a year now. So, so yeah, this has been Arcade Block. Shirt was 7 out of 10. Box 7.5 out of 10. 
I was thoroughly pleased. I, I really like this vlog. I think they did a good job. So, this is the last of September. Uh, I'm going to try and blast through the monthly review and then try and jump into October. Hopefully, I'm going to have time to do some of the other boxes that I have waiting too that are outside the monthly review, but we'll see when we get around to that. Anyway, this has been Arcade Block. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Peace.